Today, there are a lot of things that I'd like to talk about. Some of these things I'll discuss very briefly, and other things will be discussed in thorough detail. Some of these topics will be the focus of future videos. The purpose of this video is to give you an idea of the sheer number of things that you have to look forward to in the future. Let's get started. A very talented sprite artist was kind enough to create all of the assets that I need in order to create the Maid Cafe minigame that I described in a previous video. Now that I have all of these assets, it would probably only take me a day or two to create the minigame, but it's hard for me to justify taking time away from Osana when she's already been delayed long enough. If I do add the minigame, then Yandere-chan will finally have a way to earn money, which means that I can implement a feature that allows Yandere-chan to buy things that wouldn't be provided by Info-chan. I'll put a poll in the video description and ask you to vote on whether or not you'd like to see the Maid Cafe minigame added to Yandere Simulator before or after Osana has been completed. There are a lot of features that I really want to revisit before Osana is completed. For example, being able to throw water on people at any arbitrary point in time creates a lot of game design problems. It would be better if there was a limited number of predetermined points where a trap can be set up that results in a student being soaked in water. I also think that the process of electrocuting a student should work differently than it currently does. These are just two of the things that I really want to make adjustments to before I release the build of the game that has Osana in it. Over the past 35 months, I've been contacted by dozens of talented artists who offered to draw concept art for Yandere Simulator's characters, but almost nobody was interested in drawing concept art for environments. Recently, I found an artist who is willing to draw environments. Now I can finally begin asking for concept art to help visualize locations that haven't been implemented yet, such as some of the club rooms. This will help me get closer to populating some of the empty locations in Yandere Simulator. As of now, all of the school's club leaders have been designed and I will be creating profiles for them on the official website very soon. Hopefully, I'll be able to implement them into the game sometime in the near future. In the beginning, they might not have routines or react to murder, like the version of the gardening club leader who is currently in the game. But eventually, all club leaders will have proper routines and proper AI, just like the game's other students. One of Yandere Simulator's upcoming rival characters, Kizana, is significantly similar to a previously existing character. I have some solutions in mind for addressing this. However, I want to discuss these potential solutions in a separate video, so I won't be talking about that subject today. But it is something that I am aware of and determined to fix. There are a lot of changes that I'd like to make to Andere Simulator's character models in terms of gameplay functionality, customization potential, facial expressiveness, body proportions, and art style. I'd like to make a video explaining the limitations of the current character models and how I'd like to change them. There is a feature that I've wanted to put into the game since 2014. I'm currently asking an illustrator for concept art so I can make a video explaining the idea and show you my mental image of the feature. I don't have all of the artwork that I need to convey the concept yet, but hopefully it'll be ready soon. There is something really huge that I've been working on for months, and it's part of the reason why Osana is taking so ridiculously long to add to the game. I want to keep it a secret until it's ready to be shown, but I am very eager to show it off. There is something that's been in the works for a very long time, and it's quickly approaching completion. This is probably the one thing I'm most looking forward to showing you. When it's finally done, I think you're going to love it. At this point, I probably just sound like I'm repeating myself, but there's this really cool surprise that I want to show you, but it's not done yet either. I guess the point I'm trying to make 
is that there's a whole bunch of secret projects and surprises that I've been working on for a long time that I'm very excited to show you. After I released a video talking about how many hours I spend working on the game, I received hundreds of supportive messages urging me to work shorter hours and take better care of myself. I've decided to take the advice that I've been given. I'm still going to work on Yandere Simulator seven days a week, but I'm reducing my work schedule to about 10 hours per day. I'm still going to limit myself to only taking one day off per month until I'm satisfied with the speed of Yandere Simulator's development. On that note, I've been following a new schedule for the past month. Every day after my work day has ended, I spend a few hours streaming video games on Twitch TV. I don't really try to put on a big show or anything, I just play random games and chat with anyone who shows up. If you'd like to come check it out, I usually start streaming every night at 12 midnight in the PST time zone. Now this is the part of the video where I put up an illustration of Osana and display a graphic of a clock or something and put some text on screen and tell you that, sadly, Osana's still not ready yet. I hope that some of the content that I previewed in this video will help you understand why Osana is taking so long. It's because there's a lot more to making a video game than just sitting down and writing code. Between requesting concept art and designing characters and reviewing animations and everything else, sometimes I just don't get the luxury of having enough spare time to actually write code. Now, I'll admit, some of the videos that I work on are arguably not completely necessary. And thus I understand if you're thinking, darn it Yandere Dev, stop working on promotional videos and just focus on Osana. My explanation is that a lot of these video projects were in development since long before I started working on Osana. And honestly, they really don't take up very much of my time compared to the important stuff like speaking with volunteers. In the future, you will see me upload a few more video projects that had been in the works for a long time, but from this point forward, I won't be planning any new video projects because I strongly desire to reach a point where I can focus exclusively on Osana without any distractions. Please, trust me when I say progress is definitely being made. I'm very grateful for your patience and your understanding throughout this phase of the game's production. As always, thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator. Like, yeah, I just saw your latest video, and I came up with an idea, and I wanted to suggest it to you. And I also wanted to ask a few questions about... Shut up. Minor setback, no matter. After all. It's not like we have a shortage. Yandere 
dev, yandere dev. <laughs>